generally give bicarb unless, again, the pH is abnormal or grossly abnormal. And most of the time, the first answer is just hyperventilate the patient a bit, get the CO2 down to 32 or something. Nobody, you know, you've heard, right? You've got patients with ARDS, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You have permissive hyperkinetic. Mm -hmm. Nobody dies because of a pH of 7.25. Mm -hmm. People just don't die from that. So it's, 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 it's not normal, but it's a safe pH, right? So you don't need to give bicarb because it's only a temporary measure. It's going to make your next ABG look a little better. But you're actually not treating, you're treating a number, right? You're not treating the physiology. A long ago, that reminds me of, sometimes we get a call, CVP is four, so I gave fluid, okay? Same thing, you're treating a number. Okay, CVP of four, doesn't matter if the cardiac index is two. They're fine, they're, they're pumping tons of blood, you don't need to give any more fluid, even if the CVP is two, right? Mm -hmm. So don't stop treating a number, you know? Treat the physiology. If, if the CVP is four and the index is low, yes, they're dry. But if they're low, but your index is fine, there's no need to give more fluid, right? So um, we want to see thinking, not just like a response to a number, right? That's that's what we expect of ICU nursing, your level, you know? It's not just like a, um, you know, a, a reflex. Uh, you know, you, you, you have the capability to think through, and that's why, you know, you need to understand the physiology, and that's why we're willing to give you whatever lectures you want with regards to what we think is important, you know, to understand that physiology. Right? We appreciate it very much. Yeah. So again, I, I always think that, that our patients are the funnest patients to take care of because you get to see that physiology and you get to control it with your drips. And you, you, you don't see, and it's very, very pure. It's not like a septic patient who's like, mess, right? <laughs> <laughs> and just a mess. You know, our patients, you know, really have, you'll see the responses, you know, often. Sometimes they don't because they're sick, but most of the times you will. So it's a great learning opportunity. And what you learn in our patients, you can apply to any other patient that you take care of. Thank you. 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 Thank all right, so uh, Ms. Kimray, do you have any, anything to suggest in terms of keeping a septic technique, uh, like when opening the packages? So is there anything? So there's a certain way to open things, um, you know, and you, uh, if you guys want, I'm happy to come when you want to do a drill and show you how to open things up. We'll yeah. offer a set of things to the gods and we'll open it up That's and nice. okay yeah. I was going to ask yeah. you to kind of talk for me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fill it in fill it in um, uh, so I'm happy to come down and show you guys how to open things how to prep um, uh, all of those things how to maintain a sterile field how to set up the saw um, any of those things anything you'd like I'm happy to come down and help you guys do a drill. And this is really important to me because, like I've told some of you, have heard me say this before. I've been there when chest been open. I want you guys to feel comfortable and feel like if the doctor asks you for something, you at least have an idea of where it is. And also, I can't stress enough: a surgeon will get so pissed off if you don't move that bed and go ahead and get the shoulders up with a towel or. A pill couple pillowcases, just whatever, a, a pillow. They don't really care. It's just like this, bam, bam. I tell you, they all doesn't care. I've opened a few things yeah. with him. Yeah, I, I, I've done two with with him, or so three we, with him, and he never cared. So with that being said, well, all the ones that, the yeah. three, it's yeah. only been three and 13 years, so I can't say that I'm the queen. Cheryl's had two. No, no. But no. <laughs> I have just, I've had experiences. But my surgeons, who were usually fellows, yeah because I was at a teaching institution um, because the attending was never seemed to be there when these things happened um, really just it sounded exactly like